Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be. Thank you for joining us here at uh, Coded Live. I'm your host for the day, Sam Basu. Uh, unfortunately, you're stuck with me today. Uh, it's it's Thursday. It's .NET Dev Show, uh, and I'm tinkering today. Um, so you're looking at my desktop, but you're not looking at my car uh, yet. Maybe someday. Uh, that's the new e-tron GT, all electric, uh, Iron Man's car uh, for now. But uh, let's let's dive in. Let's dive in. So uh, the thing that I want to play with uh, today is .NET, obviously. Um, and they had um, they had a preview one go out. If you're just getting started, this is .NET six we're talking about. So um, yeah, folks, if you are uh, like me, who's excited about uh, the .NET ecosystem, .NET six is exciting because it's the future. It's where we are headed um, in November of 2021, which is when this will be production ready. Between now and November, we can expect uh, a bunch of previews. We have already had uh, the one, which was something they did in um, February. And then uh, preview two also dropped, which I think was last week, late last week, last Friday, maybe. So yeah, March 11. So this is kind of the latest and greatest in terms of um, .NET and .NET 6 for now. Um, but uh, I'm also, um, somebody who comes from a Xamarin background. So uh, I'm excited with Xamarin, um, for Xamarin and, and .NET MAUI, which is what I want to dig in uh, today, okay? So I think I had read the blog post. Uh, so if you're starting up, um, please, uh, please by all means start here. And I will say uh, what's new for me is um, Mac OS um, Big Sur. Um, so you can see like some of the UX and then the menu bar that's different. Uh, so I've been running uh, Mac OS, um, the latest update on my like non-dev laptop for a while now. I finally got my dev machine updated. And uh, this menu bar kind of bothers me a little bit. So if you have a darker background like I have, you see how the menu bar goes like uh, almost like too dark and the text is in white. So there's a, there's a nice nifty fix for this. So I think if you search for Mac OS Big Sur, um, change menu, oh, it's right here. Um, so this uh, this GitHub repo has a nice little utility. So it, if you have like a particularly darker background that you want to use, um, then you run through that. And essentially what it does, like you, you clone it down, you don't need to build it in Swift or so on, but uh, it's, a, it's a CLI tool and you say change menu bar color, give it a solid hex color if you want it to, or just go with gray, um, and then it'll just drop another uh, image for your background, um, which essentially has a little bit, uh, like a couple of pixels up on top. Now it doesn't show quite as well because I am actually mirroring my screen, but when I'm not, it, it still shows up as a little like grayish, so it's not as dark. So. Just a little something uh, that I use and I find it nice. So look for change menu bar color in, in Mac OS and you'll land there. Okay, so uh, let's let's dive in. Um, so this one here is uh, where we started. Uh, Richard here talks about, Rich Lander talks about all of the performance improvements. Um, I think they did actually some stuff with um, the Apple uh, Silicon, the M1 support. Hold on, let me lower my volume a tad more. I, I hear what you're hearing music wise so if it's a particularly awkward track it bothers me um, but it uh, looks like we're good um, so uh, themes of .NET they're doing it open so check that out uh, Maddie Leisure whom we love uh, she's been on the show a couple of times um, Xamarin developers uh, .NET Maui that's where they're get, getting to improve performance and then they get to here which now has um, Mac Catalyst support so you should be able to run iOS and uh, take the same apps and run it on. I mean, this is the whole uh, Catalyst promise. Like you should be able to take iPad apps and just run it on Mac desktop in an Apple approved way. Um, so that they have support for that. And uh, the, the single project thing looks like that's also here almost. Yeah, 
shared fonts, images, and app icons. This is very good news because if you remember, like what we do with Xamarin Forms is we have different platform specific folders or projects or uh, and, and that's how the builds happen so we end up uh, just copying fonts and, and images and splash screens now dotnet is saying it's going to be smart enough to realize that you're doing an ios build or an android build and i mean you can do um, conditional logic that like for ios just do this but for the most part it will be able to handle things on your own and um, they're using maui app host builder so this is kind of borrowing a thing from ASP.NET or Blazor. So you have that bootstrapping that's different. Um, there's an I window, um, which is a uh, multi window support coming feature. Okay, so it's not there yet. Control handlers. Uh, we've introduced the first controls that implement the new handler approach. Now, these include partial implementations for button, label, entry, slider, and switch. So five controls and, and what they're referring to here is the stuff that is um, under the covers like so for um, for Xamarin forms like whenever we have always said give me a input or a button or a slider there's always been a renderer that sits behind it takes your XAML takes your C sharp and renders corresponding native UI on iOS or Android or other platforms. Now that thing is gonna be flipped a little bit. Uh, if you're doing C-sharp and XAML, it'll still work the same way, but now those are all handlers. They're more platform agnostic. So Blazor could use it, uh, MVU pattern could use it. So it's just a little bit more open to, a little bit more flexible. So it looks like they have handlers for like five things, um, which I'll be curious, like do the other things still work? Uh, I mean, do they, do they still have the renderers? I would hope so. Um, so I want to tinker. Um, I think I've done this one time, but I want to see where we can stretch this, right? So they have it working on iOS, Android. Um, yeah, uh, system.text.json gets a bunch of updates. And then these are the things that Richland really likes to get into, like the nitty gritty things of how performances are being optimized how they're doing parsing, how uh, um, uh, this uh, the JSON um, system.text.json is being optimized um, continually to make it better compared to like Newton's of JSON. Um, Signal R uh, gets a few things. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that's a lot of things. So let's um, let's start with Dr. Maui because that's where we want to be. Um, yeah, let's let's go in here. I think that's the GitHub repo. Okay, um, so uh, yeah, contributors here. Who's uh, who's Delneg? Python Django. Hmm. Dennis. I I don't know who that uh, person is. Uh, most likely works with the Xamarin team on the engineering teams. But uh, this is where we start, right? Um, and this should help us bootstrap and kind of get to a starting point. So um, looks like we need to get uh, a few specific builds. Specific builder.net. Okay. All right. So you're going to see me do these things. So this gets us a certain preview of .net. Sure. Take my fingerprint, take my biometrics, take all you got. Chatroom, how are you doing? You're quiet today. Let me know how you're doing. Anything else you want to talk about? I am very open to digressing. Because I'm just tinkering here. Um, okay. Um, I, I don't do a lot of Android. Uh, I don't think I have the latest SDKs, but um, I'm, I'm going to get the package that they're promising in case like builds don't work without that. Android, okay, go ahead. All right, hey, right, Del Al, good to see you, good to see you. Let me see. Ooh, hello. Hello. All right, um, install. Yeah, I've had two cups of coffee, that's my normal. And I have it black. I've switched uh, from starting of this year. Um, 
and I try to go uh, sugar free if I can why add additional sugar um, okay got Android um, Mac OS iOS all right so these are like specific runtimes they have to kind of bootstrap looks like all right done 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 oh mac catalyst also needs a package all right all right i, I like these installers which kind of move the stuff to the trash anyways all right is that it yeah all right so we could get newer builds of dotnet um from this develop branch right um but <laughs> your, your mileage may vary so um we are kind of very early days and in uncharted territories uh, they, they talked about like the five handlers they have i want to push it a little bit more and see if i can get more things to work um so I, I don't think we all have much support in terms of like IDs, um, but let's take a look. So hello Maui is the project for uh, hello Android, hello iOS. Oh, so um, yeah, all of that stuff is here. So let me go ahead and get it. Sure, download as a zip and that's it. All right, so I'll keep this open because I think there are um, some of these that I will need. So I, I think I have Xcode 12.4. Uh, let's go in here and see what we downloaded. All right, where is my finder downloads? Oh, actually, huh, this is funny because I was streaming uh, like two weeks back and that was there. So they haven't changed the name. So the newer zip file just downloaded like that. Um, so before I unzip that, let me rename that to maybe uh two so i know like that's preview two actually all right and unzip that main two all right um so here's all the stuff all right all right so um before we uh, i don't think ids will work but let me take a look uh id integration it's in the work is in progress visual studio 16.9 on windows with xamarin workload you need to do some manual stuff. I'm not on Windows today. Uh, Visual Studio for Mac, <laughs> no support. All right, well, well, we'll try that. We'll, we'll push it. We'll see how much it works. Um, Mac Catalyst, no support, no debugging. All right, uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, oh, it only does it for Android, which I don't do. All right, well, We'll, we'll run a little blind today. We have no debugging support. Uh, we have no IDs, but I think some of the ID stuff might still work, uh, but we'll see. All right, let's uh, let's let's start here. So .NET build hello iOS. So this is the native iOS project, right? So this is what was Xamarin iOS. Now it'll be .NET for iOS. So does that work? Uh, so terminal, terminal is our friend today. Make things a little bigger so we can all see. All right, let me know if it needs to be any bigger. All right, so let's go to downloads. All right, um, all right, so cd net, uh, what is it called? Net six dash mobile dash samples dash main two. So what do I call it? What? Oh, um, yeah, maybe it doesn't like that space thing. Hang on, hang on. It, uh, it's thinking like it's like something else, like two is like a parameter or something. Okay, let's just call it dash two, okay? And dash two, okay, now we're in. And okay, now we see all this stuff. And the CS proj should be sitting right here. Um, oh, the solution file. So, and then individual projects have their own CS proj. Um, so we should be able to just run from right here, right? Let's take a look, .NET build hello iOS. Let's do the native stuff first, and then we'll look at uh, Maui, fingers crossed. This should work, I mean, they have 
they've had a couple of weeks to improve on this. So let's see, looks like it's doing something, it's not blowing up. Yeah, Dal Al, um, I, I have two cups of coffee in the morning, that's my caffeine, but then the rest of the day if I need a little bit of like uh, something other than water, I try to drink a lot of water, but uh, Coke Zero is my, is my thing. Tastes really good. Uh, I know it has like some side effects, probably uh, any of these artificial sweeteners do, but it's in moderation, it probably is fine. All right, build, build, well, it's doing it. Yay, yeah, it's done. All right, all right. So that's good, that's good. So now we can run it, t dash run, dash t run. Go for it. Let's see what simulator it'll pull up, um, iOS and how it pulls up the iPad. I don't know where it's getting this like default from, because uh, like when I when I open up things in Visual Studio, uh, you get like that list of things to choose from, like which iOS device you want to um, go to. By default, this is iPad Pro looks like, and we have Hello.NET 6, which is good, right? This is good. All right. So native stuff works and uh, we can go in the code a little bit, um, but we are more interested in Maui. All right, so this is the first time they are pivoting. Uh, oh, Della is saying two cups for me too, then two or three cans of seltzer water. Interesting, yeah, good stuff, yeah. Any, a little bit of uh, flavored water doesn't hurt, right? It's Tuesday, let me see if my Stuff is working to highlight messages. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Um, .NET Maui. Uh, to launch Maui, so we are now using .NET 6 runtime, and we are using uh, the, the new handlers, some of it looks like. Um, but there is a dash F switch we have to use. Um, Okay, let's do this. And I, I think they might still need to do the restore thingy. All right. Um, so what was it like? No restore, because I think like the NuGet package thingies don't work. <clears throat> oh, info pit is not found. Maybe I don't need it. Hold on. What do you mean info plist is not found? I can look in the folder. No, um, it's doing stuff in Azure? Uh, for what? It's restoring things from Azure? Uh, I don't know. It's trying. <laughs> Response status code does not indicate success. Target run does not exist. Well, Okay, well, that's why uh, they, they said run it with no restore. What was so wrong? Wait, now it's doing it? I'm confused. What, what, what do you mean info plist wasn't there? Let's take a look. Um, so now we're running Hello Maui in the iOS project. That right there is info plist. It's trying something. Come on. Oh, that's uh, progress. And there it is. Okay, so what was that? It didn't work the first time around. And there it is. Okay, so that, that's what they promised. That's the first like official build of .NET MAUI on .NET 6 that I've done. and. <laughs> So you saw what happened. Like if you if you ask developers, right? I think I think all of us can agree on this. Like if you have your code just not compiling and failing, that's one. And then if you have your code working and then you don't know why it's working, I think <laughs> the latter is worse because I don't know what I did wrong. Like I did the exact same command and the second time it worked. So I don't know. 
Okay, so this said entry. Um, okay, so that's an entry field. There's a slider uh, that obviously does this. There is a switch, maybe. Does the switch not work? Oh, there it is. So, and that, that's an image I'm guessing. So it's working, it's working, right? Just the basics is working. Go, go away. All right, so we got that. But I, I want to push that a little bit more. But I am also curious about this Mac Catalyst thing because this should open up a Mac desktop application if we do this right. Uh, no, no, don't do, don't do that. I was going to paste. All right, Mac Catalyst. I don't know which one to do, whether to do no restore or not. Let's try that again. Maybe it was like a first time glitch. Looks like it's fixed itself now. It's trying to build. So essentially they are taking the iOS app and merging UI kit with a little bit of app kit magic, giving you a window hopefully and launching it as a Mac desktop application. Because if, if we, um, well, well, we'll let this finish, uh, but Frank Kruger, who's uh, very smart, I think he's working with the Mono team as well. Um, he had done, um, oh, is it that thing where, maybe this one is, yes, Iran doesn't exist if I don't do that. Okay, this is a little insane. And then there's the Mac app. So it doesn't work the first time around. It's now it's been consistent, <laughs> which I like, but it doesn't, the build doesn't work the first time around, the second time it works. That's funny. Uh, so this is Mac desktop, Mac Catalyst. So well done, well done .NET team and Maui teams. Um, so essentially, uh, Frank Kruger, what I was trying to say, he had uh, done a thing with Mac Catalyst. So uh, hang on, so Frank, if I can type today, Kruger Mac Catalyst. He had a NuGet package. Yeah, this one, Preclarium, right? So essentially you get this NuGet package and you can transform your iOS app into a Mac Catalyst application. And you just like add a package reference and then you do the iOS build and it drops another file in that build that is meant uh, to be run on, on Mac. So he did that first, but uh, this one is obviously coming from the .NET team. So they have actually merged maybe some of his work or done some more work at Mono. Uh, so they have Mac Catalyst working. This is good. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, Let's do what we were told not to do. <laughs> and that's pulling up Visual Studio, right? Because I want to look at stuff. I want to look at stuff, okay. And so this works, go away. And uh, the simulator, I think, is still there. All right. Well, we'll stick to uh, Maui iOS builds, right? Uh, we did this one. We'll keep that as the last command because then we can fire up the build from a CLI. We, I don't think we can build from Visual Studio. So this works and, and we'll, we'll stay here and let's see what else we can do right here, okay? Um, but let's, uh, let's open this up. Let's open this up. Um, I'm gonna go in here. That's main two, which is where we are, solution. My computer might catch fire because I'm not supposed to be doing this, but what the heck, let's see. It's not supported, so we expect breaking changes, and that's fine. It's opening. Yeah, no, thank you. Don't want to install Mono now. Hmm. It's trying to restore, which I, I wonder if it's going to mess up the build, because it, it's not supposed to do the NuGet restores. <laughs> Successfully restored, okay. All right, so we started with Hello iOS. This was the native project, main CS. You got the storyboards. Um, 
I think this one will have, uh, no, that's just pointing to the app delegate. And somewhere in here, the storyboard should have that hello.net6. Oh yeah, no, I don't want to do that from Xcode. Go away, go away. Yeah, I opened up a storyboard. Uh, but anyways, you, you get that. Oh, look at this. Look at that. They got F sharp support for iOS. Main.fs. Hmm. Uh, there's nothing else in it. I, I don't know how to launch the F sharp project, but looks like they're onto something. Anyways, like we are more interested in Hello Maui and all of this stuff, right? So this is the combined project. What what are what are these things? Pro guard text. What is that? Uh, some licensing thing from Android. I don't know. That looks like something that's obviously in the works. So this is it. This is what we will get like moving forward when we do file new project dot in Maui. This is the kind of project that we're going to get. It has Android iOS. I mean, it still has those folders, but technically maybe it's just all one and you don't have to have the folders unless you're doing something platform specific. All right. What is main window dot CS? Um, just getting the Maui context. Okay. Oh, let's look at the dependencies here. Why are there three Netcore app sixes? I don't know. Frameworks. So Mac Catalyst is now a NuGet package or a framework rather. And there it is, Microsoft.Maui. Like that is the thing that's powering us working on top of .NET 6 using the new handlers. All right. What are these two things? Like looks like, looks to be the same. So this is where like the lack of ID support, I think is where we are getting tripped up. But uh, main page.xaml is where it should be. Is, uh, are things too small for you folks uh, watching? Let me make things a little bigger. Let me know, I can I can bump up the fonts even more. But uh, content page, no surprises here. We got a scroll view and then we got a stack layout, which by default is stacking things vertically. So we get the welcome to .NET, uh, we get uh, the button. So the label, the button, uh, that's the slider. And they have a switch and have an image for the .NET bot. Okay. And what is the code behind like? Um, standard stuff, there's a button click even handler um, and I view, all right. All right. Um, so, uh, oh, thanks, Dalal. Uh, so I think um, we can start tinkering a little bit, right? We are on to uncharted territories, but let's see what works and what doesn't, right? So let's uh, look at uh, Xamarin Forms UI. Uh, use interface. Yeah, so these are all the Xamarin Forms UI components that we are used to, right? Pages, layouts, views, uh, lots of input things, layout concepts, views. Um, start with the uh, views. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, here's what I can try. I can try porting an app um, that I had for Xamarin Forms over here. Let's do that. Hang on. Um, let me close this. We can come back to this. I thought I had a very simple app. I might have to remember. Uh, I think this one here. Yeah. So like for many, um, yeah, not now, uh, for many um, uh, like mobile apps, like Hello World is often just putting some data down from the cloud and showing it, right? So this one here, I had an app which was running on iOS and Android and Mac uh, in the olden days. So this one here is meant to go to that URL, which gives you kind of a list of uh, like a JSON feed. And I have, I have a class here, which represents like the title, the body and other things coming back from the feed. And I have a posts manager here, which uses an HTTP client, makes a HTTP get call to that URL. You see that uh, using that RESTful endpoint and then it converts it down to JSON. 
and then we bind it. Um, so here's a little bit of XAML it's using. So this one's using the XAML forms list view. So we have to, like if I have to port this over, we have to first make sure like the list view works maybe. Um, and in the in the binding, I, I am going off and getting, I and mean, this is kind of done in a very crude way. There is no MVVM here, just getting the item source, binding it to that collection. So let me check if this will work at all, and then we can try porting this over. Um, let's see. Yeah. And start. I did not get the iPhone 12. I'm still on iPhone 11. So I tend to use the simulator from my phone. All right. Oh, and if we are really adventurous, we can try if any other UI, like third-party UI, like ours, like Telerik works on this, which I'm pretty sure is not going to work. Um, okay, so this is the app, right? Uh, this is just a hello world thing. It's just getting a bunch of stuff in Latin, uh, but this is all coming back in JSON. We are binding it to a list view and it works, right? But can we, oh, no, sorry, I hit play again. Don't do that. Uh, but let's uh, let's try bringing this over. But first up, I think we need to make sure that. Um, hold on, let me uh, let me close these simulators. Too many of these guys going on. But let's go back to our net six sample. And um, before I do that, let's see if a, if a list view will work. Because if it doesn't, then we we can't really port that thing over. Um, buttons, search bars, checkboxes, slider. So they have an example of the slider working. Stepper, switch, entry, uh, list view, right? Guide. Uh, just give me some code that I can copy. Uh, list view. Browse the code. All right. Where am I going? I don't need to go to GitHub. Just give me some code so I can see the uh, thing working. Where can I go? Sample takes me here. I don't want to download the sample. Data sources. Oh yeah, yeah, this is fine, right? So essentially what they're saying, just drop the list view. Of course we can do two-way data binding, but let's just see if the list view works. So this one here is just um, hard coding all of this, right? That's what I want, just give me some code. So I can copy and paste. That's officially how I write my code. So let me do that. I don't want uh, code behind in C sharp. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll get to data binding. So let's go back here, and let's just plop this thing in, and let's see what we break. Uh, looks like the pasting thing didn't quite work. Can I move it over? There you go. Maybe there you go. All right, so we are dropping a list view here, giving it an item source right here. So I'm going to save this file. I'm not going to do anything else in Visual Studio because it's not meant to work, right? Um, go back here and do the build again. Let's see if it'll work because, oh man, what is this? Okay, I'm going to do that trick again. No, hang on. Which one? The one? This one without the no restore and then like remember it works the next time around this is insane like it's a repeatable thing it the first build doesn't work and the second build works <laughs> hold on where where's my confused thing is yeah i'm confused i am confused i can go ask the uh xamarin folks as to what's going on it's doing a build now. It's doing it. Come on. I just added a list view. Do the list view. 
Okay, okay. Alright. It works, it works, it works. Okay, the outfit that. Hooray! Where's my rainbows? Like I need more stuff here. Hang on, rainbows. <laughs> Alright, so it worked, right? So you have a list view and oh this is like infinite scrolling now. But it does show the list view. So here's what that means. Yeah, Dalal says yes. Um, so they have not taken out the renderers, which is good. Um, so if we are to go by just the docs that they're uh, saying, like these entries, the slider, the switch, and the image, and the label, and the button, right? I think I think this just goes like how many times you clicked on it. Um, so these are using the handlers, but all of the other stuff is still using the renderers, I think, right? I don't know what's going on under the covers, but hey, looks like the list view is working. So we could bring over my other project and see if that works. This is good. This is good. All right. So I don't want to keep this open. So let me um, let me do this. Let me open up the other project in VS Code so I can copy and paste things over, right? Um, so go away and let's open uh, projects. I think it was called um, this guy. Yeah, let's open that guy. Uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at the. Yeah, I'm not looking at any platform specific stuff. So yeah, don't do that. Um, I need a couple of files here. So essentially, first up is this constants file, which points to that URL. Okay, now let's see how much we can do stuff in Visual Studio without breaking the CLI build, okay? But I mean, I'm not doing anything bad here, so it should really be fine. I'm just adding a few classes here, right? So add a new class, all right? Um, yeah, empty is fine. We're gonna call it constants. All right, so, all right, system, that's good. And hey, I'm copying and pasting at least my own code here, right? So we're just gonna set it up so we can make a request um, to that URL. So we got a constants file now. And I think next we need uh, this guy, which is the object that represents what comes down from the cloud service. Well, and this, by the way, if, if you folks are interested, uh, this is what I used always to test. It's called JSON placeholder. Um, so just look this up. I mean, they give you um, like a nice little JSON server and uh, we are going after like these posts, which you can do comments or albums. It's real nice to kind of play around with uh, with a dummy like service. Um, so that's what I'm going after, okay? Oh, uh, but I see the first problem here. <laughs> I'm using Newton soft JSON here. Uh, I'm not using system.json. Uh, I can try using it, but all of the like these JSON property thingies, they come from the JSON serializer. So could I add Newton soft or will just the NuGet thing just crash and burn because it's we're not supposed to do NuGets here. Let's try. What is it? Whoa. What is .NET 6 Xamarin Public, where are these sources? Because these are not my sources. Yeah, these are my sources. Like I go to NuGet or I go to the Telerik feed to get my Telerik bits. So it must have like a NuGet config of its own to get you like this stuff. I don't know, are they planning on having like separate NuGet servers? Or I mean, this is all like experimental. Let's not read too much into it. I don't know. Let's do all sources and let's see if we can find um, Newton soft JSON. No, where is it? Oh, there it is. I don't know where they're getting it from. Has to be from the official NuGet feed. Add. Is it gonna break at the moment I hit add? It's trying. It's adding. at it. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, nice bookmarked. It's nice. Um, I was uh, doing a stream where somebody just needed a whole bunch of data out of a JSON feed, and I just like stood up a server because uh, here, here's the other thing that these guys do really well. Um, so hang on, if I can show you here, JSON server. Um, I'm digressing here, but it's a npm feed. But um, yeah, this one here. Success, yeah, success. Um, we will. Well, we, we don't know Super TX like how much of a success I've had. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna go back to it. But I'm digressing for a second here. Um, I, I obviously have nothing to do with these folks, but I like what they do because, um, let me see. Uh, like you, you can get this, and then you in npm install JSON server, and then you get a local feed out of because it, it does a read. So you see that. So if you give it a db.json, then it does a read and it exposes that out on your local host. And then um, it does something else that was super useful. And I'm drawing a blank on finding it. Um, my JSON server. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this one here. So not only can you Take a piece of JSON, drop it as a file, and then expose that out on your local host as a server feed. But you can actually drop this JSON on your GitHub and then let these guys pick it up from GitHub and then um, ship it. So you don't have to expose your local host. So I was using this and just take a look at this. So I think I still have that file maybe. So if I go to my GitHub um repos i think uh this one here so i was doing a valentine's day thing um and in here there is that db.json file right if i look at the raw file like this was like some flowers and some cactuses like this is pure pure json and you can expose this out as a service by going to this thing right so so it is my json server typico.com right and then you say my thing yeah and actually i have it right here um so i can go to individual things or hang on i just want to go to um what is the name of this thing it was called uh well if i just do this so if i do touch me not like those are individual things right so you see that it's pulling it straight out of like this and um Hold on, hold on. Where did we go? So it's the repo and then posts and then one, which is the individual thing. Okay, so if I if I go back here and then I do that and then I do just the Valentine Grinch is my repo. If I do that. No. Okay, so now, well, I mean, it is reading through that. You see that? So all of these things are now JSON. So it's it's a really nice service in terms of just exposing JSON. Okay, so yeah, take a look if you are into, into that. Sorry, I digress, but Dalal said that uh, they bookmarked it, so I wanted to show. All right, so back to, back to Visual Studio. Success, but, oh, hey, hey, look who's here. Look who's here. Who's lurking? My good friend, Jay Gudagno. Hello, sir. How are you? I am good. It's early morning. I know you. he's in uh, mountain time. No, not quite West Coast mountain time, but good morning. Good morning. So we are playing around with uh, .NET 6 Preview 2 and .NET MAUI. We have got the basics to work and now we are pushing the envelope to make some more UI work and we are doing things that uh, officially are not supposed to work because we are in Visual Studio and tinkering with packages uh, that don't work. Uh, Joe is saying, yep, MST, you know, I'm on vacation. Nice. Why are you still on the internet then? But maybe we relax on the internet. So thank you for joining us, Joe, on your vacation day. Um, but uh, looks like Newton Soft built and let's go back here. And now this will be the test. Right, so Super TX2 said success, but this will be the test whether it did succeed or not. Because if it builds, okay, this is this is funny. Like it does the first build fails, then you run it without the no restore, and then it complains it doesn't have a run. Then you do this, and then it works. This is 
This is funny. No, now it's not funny. Now it is not building. <laughs> so it was building. The second build was always working. What did I jinx now? Alright. It's complaining about something else. Alright, app bundle path. Hey, it must be you. Yes, Joe came in and jinxed us. Because we were going off a pattern where the first build failed and the second build worked. Uh, but looks like we have messed it up. Just that one nougat package is enough to mess it up? Really? Okay, can I can I delete this? Okay, that's gone. And we have those three .NET Core apps for some reason. I don't know why. But again, this is not officially supported, so it is what it is. Okay, we took it away. All right, now does the build work? Let's try this one first. It's going to complain it doesn't have a run. No restore. Okay, now we have officially broken it. And that is way too early for us to break it. Because I was really hoping I could, since the list view works, I could have just um, rebuilt it. Clean the solution, then build. Yes, um, but the problem is uh, anything we touch in Visual Studio is likely going to break things. <laughs> but let's try. Let's try clean. Hello, Maui. Clean, successful. And we can't build in Visual Studio. Okay, now we have broken it. Okay, we can get it again. Uh, you, you are already broken, yes. All right, all right. Hold on then, okay? This is this is no fun. So we'll get it again, because uh, if you had a clean thing, that works. Jeez, it's really finicky. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get rid of uh, this guy and this guy and start afresh. Okay. Back to this. Um, back to this. Give me that. So this is what happens when we step outside of the norms and we try doing stuff that doesn't work. What are you done? Oh, it's already 10.49. I got to go get our kid in like 20 minutes or so, but that should be enough time. So main two. All right, we'll name this that, right? So now we're back. We are back to where we, we had a clean solution before and we are still, oh no, now we're completely hosed. Where are we? Yeah. We should be back. So cd into net6 dash mobile dash. So what I was going to try doing is bring that list view over and then try a couple of <laughs> Telerik bits if I can. All right. So we are back and now we can run this thing again. Hello Maui, run iOS. And it should fail the first time. thinking come on okay okay that's good um, yeah okay looks like it's doing stuff so I'm um, I'm hesitant, like the, the moment I bring in a NuGet package, things are going wacky. Uh, does tab work to autofill in command line on Mac? Yeah, yeah, tab works. Uh, it, it, um, it goes through the last few of your uh, commands. And I mean, I, I should get a little bit more updated command line tools. Like there, there are utilities where you can open up a command line tool on a Mac on a specific folder, which uh, I had used in the past. I don't have it. Like I said, like I got Mac OS Big Sur like last weekend on my dev machine. So I, I don't have some of the utilities that I used to have in the past. 
Okay, so now we are back. Okay, this is the happy path, right? And the only build that it will take is through the CLI. Okay, so what can we do? Uh, I think this is still the same folder. I'm going to try this one more time. So Joe is saying try system.text.json instead of Mutantsoft. Yeah, I think that's the thing that I have to do because the moment I try bringing in a NuGet package, everything breaks apart. Um, but I, I will have to see like if the JSON property things that I use. So I had an older Xamarin Forms project that I'm trying to bring over. And uh, this one was using Mutantsoft. And the all, all I'm using is JSON property. So I'm, I'm hoping there's some like equivalent to that in system.text.json, but let's see. So that way we don't have to bring in a package because it looks like the moment you bring in something, things break. So um, let's let's do that thing one more time. Let's go back and, well, let's, let's start with posts and we'll figure it out as we go then. Um, let's add a new file called posts.cs, right? All right, now um, I believe that works. Hold on, okay. Now I have more confidence because Joe, Joe is here and he'll help me out where I fail with uh, JSON parsing. But I mean, this should be pretty basic stuff. It should work. So I am gonna copy that whole class and just put it here. And it's complaining. Um, show potential fixes. No. Shouldn't this be included? But now again, I mean, in the .NET 6 runtime, I, I don't know if they have that in there. Using system.text.json. Now, I mean, keep in mind, like the squigglies here don't probably mean that it's bad because, again, we are in uncharted territory. Like, it's not supposed to work. But if I just did this, Will the build still work? All right, okay. Now well, let's go back to our trend of doing this one first and then the second build working. Oh, so now it is complaining. JSON property is not an attribute. Um, <laughs> Do I need this? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't need this, but it'll be hard to debug without this because um, because we're going to pull things down from our JSON feed, but um, not know what these things are. So hang on, let me do something. So that way we don't have to do this mapping because all that that JSON property is doing is just doing a mapping between what's coming down from the server feed and what we want to call it, right? So let's just make it what it is so that way we don't have to mess with it um where is that this one here let's close this and uh so that way we don't have to depend on any json serialization so it's coming back as title and body okay so let's just call it that title and this one was just body okay so that way hopefully we don't have to do anything else Right, so we got posts. Now let's do um, add one more. The thing that we had was constants. And in here, we want to have a, just a static class that points to our endpoint. All right, there you go. Okay, um, nothing should break here. Oh, Joe is saying JSON property name attribute instead. Oh, I see, okay. Um, I, I took it off for now. Um, I see, so you can call this. Let me uh, highlight what uh, Joe is saying. Hang on, I closed my highlighting thingy, which is not smart because I'm still in the middle of the stream. So J Joe is saying, instead of JSON property, do JSON property name. So that way, if there's a property called wind, you can call it wind speed. Uh, perfect. 
So that's what we need. Um, but let's just say like we're calling it title for now and then we'll, we'll, we'll it, it matches for now. So hopefully um, it can do the parsing by itself. Um, so we got the constants file. So I will do that, Joe, but um, let's get the basics to work. And then, oh, actually, you know what? I might need that because when I, um, yeah, Joe is saying title is title. The web default is camel case. Oh, I see. So we might get a little messed up. So let, let's do that. Let's do what Joe said here um, because we are going to try to bind to this. So we are going to say um, JSON property name, right? And um, so this should be what it, what the thing is from the service, which is title right and then we can just call this title and then this one can stay well let's let's take it off we don't even need the body just let's just get the title so should this work json property name um yeah let's see if our build is still what is going on here no that was a different one i'll do this trick again let it fail the first time. <laughs> Let it fail the second time. Oh no! JSON property name could not be found. <sighs> what is it? Um, why does it not know? Maybe they don't have it? All right, all right. Let's just get it out for now. Just let it get it to build. That's all I'm trying to do. JSON is lowercase the s oh wait wait i have no intelligence no help from spelled it wrong json property name like that uh let's try again no it's not it's not liking it and I don't know what it is like if it if the JSON system dot text dot JSON doesn't have all the bits yet for dot net 6 um, I don't know we'll, we'll get back to this but let's just hope that we have at least a title coming back maybe and if it matches then matches what comes back from the web then hopefully it will not complain but we won't be able to debug this uh, okay, so if I take that off, will it build? It will build. So we got a list view to work, remember, um, from that example. I just want to bind it to some data and see if it still works. Because it's using the renderers. Come on. Somebody was asking me, like, can I take a Xamarin Forms app and just make it work on Maui? And we will have tools, we will have a better story. It's just two early days. And hopefully it's just a few names. Like, if it's C Sharp and XAML, then if hopefully it's just a few namespaces that we're changing. All of your XAML should really be fine. Okay. So we are still good. It's still working. Um, and now we have to add another thing this which is going to go get the stuff from um the service so this post manager okay um oh i'm doing json convert here which is going to mess up without uh the newton south json um yeah maybe this is not a good idea maybe i should explore like other ui things because we really literally cannot bring in a nuget package without the build just completely falling apart um so now we have to figure out like how we do json converts mm. maybe it will just do it by default uh, i don't know how system.txt does this deserialize object thing i don't know 
Okay, let's let's do other things because I think this migration thing like uh, we we need a little bit of more stuff before we can migrate. So let's just play around more a little bit more with UI, shall we? Um, so let's go back here and let's go to this list view and let's keep on adding as many things we can to see what what breaks so here's our list view if i can just make it move a little bit so we know this one did work and um, let's go back to user interface uh, more views because the rest should be using um, uh, the regular renderers Joe is saying, okay, Joe is giving us a link on how to deserialize, how to migrate. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm torn, like, should I keep on trying to do that or should I play with a little bit more UI? Um, okay, let me see what, uh, what Joe is saying. Um, System.text.json. Uh, Okay, yeah, this is the whole documentation on if you're using Newton self JSON and if you want to now use this, what should you use? It has those deserialized things. Not supported, but there is a workaround. I feel like I will I will struggle a lot more with this because it's just trying to read the whole thing and trying to understand how it's gonna deserialize. So let me see, let me get a few more UI pieces to work and uh, <laughs> I have 10 minutes to get the kid, yes. So my time, 11.03, like at 11.15, I have a hard stop because uh, otherwise the kid is going to just cry. He's got, at least he's going to a play school. We're at least fortunate to have like a school where um, they're, they're keeping their distances. Everyone's wearing a mask and I mean, they've had a couple of closures, but for the most part, that school is running. And, and we are fortunate. Um, and um, Joe, since I actually have you here, I, I, I got mildly excited about this, uh, which I don't know. Um, so uh, Joe and me and like lots of others, like we love tech conferences, right? And I'm, uh, I've spoken here a few times, Dev in the section is coming up. This I think is in June, uh, which is my internet still up? What's going on? Come on, reload. Um, so this one has um, a clear thing which is not coming up because I've been to this site before but they're saying like if you are vaccinated and if you feel safe enough to travel then it's in person for you if not then it's uh, it's uh, it's a hybrid event so uh, I think uh, did I see Joe here um, maybe so that's me and I thought I saw Joe, or maybe I know, I'm mistaken. Oh, there he is, yeah, there he is. So, um, he just skipped me, yeah. So, June is technically like the light at the end of the tunnel. If we play our cards well, we should be able to travel in June, but again, everything is up in the air. Who knows, who knows, we don't know. Anyways, so let's try a couple more things and see if I can get them to work. Uh, box view these are all the shapes which I'm a little hesitant to try some of the shapes um, button they are run rendering this button through the handler now which is good uh, swipe view checkbox step slider they're doing it oh stepper let's look at the stepper because this should be simple why did they just give me yeah there you go that's the stepper yeah, if I just take that after the list view, well, maybe I'll put the stepper right in here. I don't need a value changed. There you go. So increment 330 goes up to 360. Um, will this work? So we saw the list view work. Uh, 
I mean, early days, Visual Studio support isn't there. We can't debug. We can't get NuGet packages. Um, I, I was going to try to see if I can somehow like make a hard reference to a Teleric uh, uh, library and make it work, but I'm pretty sure it will just fail fantastically because um, we, we are like it's not working yet. Nothing is working yet, so we'll see. But looks like for the default Xamarin Forms um, UI, they are still using the renderers for some of the other ones. And list view worked. And oh, the stepper worked too. Look at that. Can I scroll? Yeah, there you go. See, that's the stepper. Like I, I don't have anything in here, but like that's just like it's. If you had a text view or something, you can step through and then you can increment. So. This works okay all right all right um, I will not have time to try the Teleric bits because uh, <laughs> I, I can't uh, see, see like here like they are messing up uh, your NuGet sources a little bit like I, I can't even go to this feed from this project uh, I mean, I, I can, I have the DLLs. I mean, I can just like drop them in this folder and just like forcibly make it try to work. But uh, no, <laughs> it's, it's no point. Um, what else? Let's do like one more control. Uh, chat room, do you want to pick, pick something? Uh, date picker, maybe? You tell me, I'm happy to try. Um, date picker, all right. Let's just copy that. Because now, now we're in kind of a mixed bag mode. Because some of them are using um, the renderers, some of them are using the handlers. So, all right, let's do that. Um, go back to here, do the build. At least we um, got past the thing where it was doing like the successful build every second time. At least the no restore thing is doing it now. And and what is this um, bug actually? Hang on. Um, they said you you have to do this no restore um, until this issue is resolved. What is this issue? Uh, .NET CLI passing target. Oh, it's Jonathan Peppers who absolutely works on the Xamarin engineering team. Oh, looks like that build succeeded. Let's see. Oh, we have a date. Oh, anyway, it does work. So in an awkward way, like when this is iOS, right? So it's uh, it's giving you that. You see that? Yeah. So I can swipe over to 20. 31. Wait, why is it going back in? Why is it forcing me to choose? <laughs> December 31st, what? Oh, it's kind of defaulting to where, what it was. I see, I see. Done. Yeah, so date pickers work. I'm guessing time pickers and other controls will work too. Um, so it's a start. So I mean, I can actually start building out a nice piece of UI here on top of this. The thing that we're going to run into is like we we literally cannot bring in another package, and the part of the part of it why it's failing is we have a multi-targeted project um, with .NET six Android .NET six iOS. Actually, that's interesting. Shall we look at um, the CS proj for this? Because like this one is showing you a bunch of stuff that doesn't work, right? So. Hold on for a second. I'm going to close this and open this in Visual Studio Code. Right? And that way we can look at a little more of the CS prod and see what they're doing. Now, this one's still the old thing. I don't want that. Close that folder and open our .NET 6 sample, which was this one here. Um, open that. So, hello, Maui. Yeah, .NET, don't try doing <laughs> Visual VS Code is trying to get all these extensions that might help. Um, but CS Proj, okay. 
So see .NET 6 Android, .NET 6 iOS, very specific target frameworks here. And um, something about the, like Xamarin has always used MS Build and now we're using .NET Build. So I think um, the .NET CLI is, it meets that target framework. And, and see that's the error that we were getting all the time. You can work around this problem by explicitly mentioning and then doing a no restore. So, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look around this, but uh, clearly this is an issue and there, there are long threads about this, but yeah. So for now, we are having to do a no restore and um, we found that if we bring in Nougat packages, then things get a little awkward because the builds don't work. Okay, so um, folks, if you want to uh, try tinkering like I just did, like start here, start uh, do a do a search on uh, .NET six preview two, and that's going to hopefully land you on this post. And from there, you can head down to um, .NET uh, Maui, and you can see all the things. It is uh, a single project, but they still have those platform specific projects for now but you should technically be able to share your fonts and your images and your icons, which is a good step um, in the right direction, right? And looks like they got handlers for five or six different controls. And for the other controls, like we tried a list view, we tried a date picker. So those are still there and it's, it's working, right? So it's a start and I will keep building on more on this. Um, let's see if I can get some more UI pieces to work. Let's see if I can get that JSON property thing figured out and if I can actually use that list view to go fetch some data from the cloud and bind it and then it's a little bit more realistic, okay? But um, I have to uh, go get ready and get my kid from the play school thing, but uh, it was fun. It was fun to dig in uh, into this. I had not played with this at all, so it was kind of fun to see the errors that we run into, like the second time builds that were fun. Yep, later, Joe. Good to see you and uh, everybody else, like Dalal and um, who else was here? Super TX, uh, Super TX2, and everybody else. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I love you. Thanks for just uh, being around while I tinkered. We will obviously see much more of this with uh, Dot and Maui being more flushed out. But until then, um, yeah, stay healthy, stay productive, and I shall see you. Um, yeah, Dalal, thank you. I shall see you on the next stream. Okay. All right. And bye. And uh, out from me for now. Okay. I'll see you next time. Thank you.